The ST wrench is the latest in tooling innovation from Atlas Copco. Let's explore its components as well as how it's used in the production and quality environment. The ST wrench is configured into three basic components. The smart head, which includes the interchangeable head, the controller, and the battery. I will now explain the functionalities of each component, starting with the smart head. The smart head itself is made from heavy duty carbon fiber, providing the ultimate in strength while remaining extremely light. The tool is equipped with a headlight to assist the operator with better visibility in poorly lit areas. In the neck of the smart head is a dual strain gauge that will deliver plus or minus 0.5% accuracy irregardless of where the operator holds the wrench. Also located in the smart head is a gyroscope that allows the tool to report angle at an accuracy of plus or minus 1 degree. And unlike wrenches that measure angle using an accelerometer, the wrench does not have to be used in a special way in order to achieve that high accuracy. The interchangeable heads on the ST wrench can serve as P-set selectors due to the inclusion of a RFID tag in the head. Here is a wrench searching for a specific tag. If the operator inserts the incorrect head, the display screen will reflect this showing an error message. Once the correct interchangeable head is inserted, the correct P-set will automatically load and the tool is ready for production. To accommodate for various socket sizes, the interchangeable heads themselves can be changed out in a matter of seconds. There is a total of six smart heads available, ranging from 3 newton meters all the way up to 600 newton meters. Now let's take a detailed look at the controller and its functionality. The controller is equipped with a built-in shock indicator to notify the operator when the tool has taken an impact that may affect performance. In the handle you will find air proofing controls. Once the target torque has been reached, the operator will be notified by an audible sound as well as a vibration. In the controller you will find an onboard barcode scanner that can be activated when the module is purchased. This then can be used as a P-set selector. If the operator scans the wrong barcode, he or she will receive an error message and will not be able to use the tool. When the correct barcode is then scanned, the program P-set will automatically load and the tool is ready to go. In the back of the ST wrench is where the modules are contained. These modules can be purchased initially with the wrench or added at a later time when the need arises. Starting on the left is the IRC wireless module, which allows the tool to communicate via Wi-Fi to ToolsNet. It can be substituted for the IRC Bluetooth module that allows the wrench to communicate to a power focus controller. In the center, you have two RBU options. The first is the quality RBU that allows quality strategies. The second is the production RBU that allows for both production and quality strategies. Finally, on the right is the ST Wrench barcode module, which allows for full activation of the barcode scanner located on the side of the wrench. A lithium ion battery is used to power the ST Wrench. The tool delivers 10 to 16 hours of working time based on a 4 hour charge time. The ST Wrench is one of the most flexible tools available on the market today. It can be utilized in both a production environment as well as a quality environment. In production, it can be used as a primary production tool in rework areas or as a backup tool. It is able to get into hard to reach areas while giving you the benefits of a DC tool such as torque, angle, and traceability. As a demonstration, I have programmed the ST wrench for a torque plus angle strategy at 20 newton meters plus 20 degrees with a spec of plus or minus 5 degrees. So you'll know. As we approach 20 newton meters, the angle does not move. And as soon as I hit 20, I start to read angle. And I'm going to read angle all the way up until 20, and then at 20, I'm going to vibrate. All the lights are going to go on, and when I let go, I get a green light stating that I reached 20 degrees, and the final torque is 22 newton meters. In a quality environment, this is where the wrench truly differentiates itself in that it's able to give you a true residual value. Unlike traditional peak wrenches that give you value when the bolt stops moving, the ST wrench is the only tool that can give you the value when the bolt starts to move. Now with the same wrench, I have programmed a residual strategy so I can see what the joint felt after the previous tightening of my torque plus angle strategy.
and you can see the residual was 22.65 newton meters at 4.8 degrees. And you can see as I continue to pull the wrench, it still keeps the value at which the bolt started to move, not stop moving. So what does this mean? Having the ability to measure when the bolt starts to move eliminates operator dependency and gives you true install time.